Kaizen! My name is Bayaki Kaizen and this is my story. We are more working together as a unit, fan together, we attack together. I guess we have that discipline uh, in terms of um, tactical discipline that we you know, adopt throughout these years. And I think Coach Radi was really uh, emphasised on those uh, disciplines. Lama kelamaan, you can realise uh, the, the importance of your playing for the country. You are putting on the flag, um, you are representing your family, you are representing your friends. Your, the nation is watching you. So there's, there's these expectations that um, you know they want to come to stadium and you know want the team to win and all that. So it's all in you now. So we need to perform well. We need to do well. Uh, I can remember you know the final that we played against Indonesia and it was at Senayan Stadium. Senayan Stadium was crazy. 120,000 full, full capacity, full. Like I can just five meters. I call your name. You can't hear. You know I I have to literally like shout through my veins for you to hear. And the best part is when you score when you score a goal against them, and that total silence. You know? And then you can you start hearing voices like from your friends and. All that. It's always nice to give back to the community. It's, you know, at the end of the day, football. When you play the game, these are the people that come to the stadium and you know support you and cheer for you and you know cry for you if they can. It's always nice to to just go down and meet the community, meet the other people, you know, touch their heart a little bit. You know, sometimes it's just about just one a simple message that can change your life. You know. I came from a very difficult childhood. My father passed away when I was three years old. And it was not easy. We stayed 14 of us in, in one small two-bedroom HDB. Uh, every time I come back home, I need to, you know, kind of change it, change it, masuk dapur and sleep at the kitchen. You know, so those moments actually inspire me, lah. If football is the way for me to get out of poverty, then then I'll do it. So I don't have much choice back then. I, I so I channel all my energy and my hunger into football. Players and who, who does want to take take up football seriously, I guess they can start off uh, somewhere. Today we have a lot of academies, we have football academies everywhere, and uh, obviously you have to you have to perform, you have to work hard, you have to be noted, and you have to be you must be seen by someone. You know, so those are the processes where I can I I myself can't really guarantee, but it's all ball, it all boils down to hard work. You know, you need to be the one standing up in all occasions. So that's pretty hard for you <laughs> to, to constantly do week in, week out. So I guess hard work is number one and, and especially football, stay focused uh, and, and disciplined. 